there are times when <coughs> life is so hard for me like i'm from i'm from south sudan and as you all know south sudan there are very many problems like people are always fighting and and as you all know the economy of south sudan it's not really that good many people are not getting paid like my parents have haven't been paid for like the last 5 years and that has been hard on me and paying my school fees has been really hard so i had to I had to find a way out and art art to really help me. The fact that we have four kids and we are all girls um made our dad compare us to to male kids yeah to male kids. He always said if you guys were were male kids you'd probably be doing this and this and this you know and I felt that male kids were more brighter than female kids. That's why I've been doing art um to show that in as much as we might be females or male kids we are still the same and nothing is going to change and i probably think that's why there's feminism right now trying to explain to people that even if you're having whether female kids or male kids it's still okay and the family is still perfect hello beautiful people this is semayote show the first rising youtube channel in kenya right now and i'm going to be your host christabel owira today we are in kibra at olympic stage just behind the stage it's a 50 meter walk to the weza art gallery we are here for the beautiful story behind this gallery we are here to meet and interact with the manager and the artists themselves to get to understand the history of this place the how this place works how everything is being done here as you can see from my behind and uh, on my right on my left there are a lot of beautiful arts different types there are ones that are more detailed there are ones that are less detailed and there are ones that are complicated if you are someone who is so much into art you like paintings this is the right place to be you will find all types of art zile kubwa ndogo ndogo it's the right place and they are available online both online and they also accept walkings because there are a lot of beautiful and better paintings here so when you get here you get confused you decide you are you are unable to make up your mind yeah we are here to hear their stories interact with the artists get to know what's the inspiration what's the art behind their paintings if you haven't subscribed to our channel it's semayote remember to subscribe and comment whenever you watch our videos make us know your thoughts on our videos share and like when it kwa nimeambia before tuko weza at gallery tuko na frank frank okot is the manager atatuelezea how things work around here atatuambia pia brief history about this at gallery atuambie artists wako nao ni wangapi how they manage penye au utoa material materials zao ideas zao yeah and generally how things work around here uh, naitwa frank okot ama francis okot na karibuni weza uh, i'm in charge of the arts program and um mtasikia kenye na fanyika hapa kila siku kutoka asubuhi na jioni yeah okay So Frank maybe to utuambie the Uweza art the mm. idea ilikuwa started when was it started and whose idea was it Uweza ilianza 2011 mm-hmm. 2011 na CEO ni twa Jen so it come up na idea ah uh, alitwambia alikuwa na alitembea home mta so yuko tembea kwake aliona kuna talents mingi huko watu wana wamevecha kwa talent tofauti basi sasa hakuna art so ndio akanisha art akamwa art kwe anzishe something yeah. unique yeah. yeah that was a brilliant idea and uh, perhaps uyu Jane mwenye unasema was the founder mm-hmm. did she ama have you guys talked about reason yake ya kutaka ku open up something for the community yeah ni vile uh, umejua 
mtaa inajulikana sana na boli mhm azin uh, kila ngo ama kila grupi kianza football na kwanga tu compulsory azin wanapenda sana football mm-hmm. so katika hiyo football yenye ilianza back then ya bado ilianzisha uh, kuna so kianza art kuna ma, kuna wanafunza kwa nataka wanataka football wanakuja kwa art kwa art program kuna watu wali realize so i'm not really good in football i can uh, do art better so yeah wakajivundua oh that is nice do uh uweza see art again mhm uweza kuna different programs pia okay you can maybe iko na iko na iko na sponsorship iko na bread future for your mothers na iko sasa na hii art iko na mentorship program so ni program for for Uh, bright future for mother is in uh, in uh, sadia wa mama wa, wa changa so mama wa mama changa yeah when you uh, pata labda ujauzito kama bado ni wajakisha umri ni wadogo sana so either wanarudishwa wanarudishwa shule ama wanapewa loss kidogo kidogo za kuanisha biashara ama wanapewa uh, counseling advice na counseling is good guys and all so in general with the art Uweza is not just an art gallery it's a youth center yeah in a in a in a in a in a was a foundation as a whole but sasa art iko iko ndani ya yeah art is always inspired by something so we are just look, we are just going to interview a few of the artists get to know their inspiration get to know the story behind their paintings we want to know the magic behind it what push them to get that to draw these beautiful paintings so let's work together my name is Peter Dell and that is from Wizard they joined Wizard in 17 what inspires me to to paint is as in when, from when i was young life has always been hard for me i've had to go through so many things like i faced so many problems like i didn't have school fees it keeps me going like pays for my school fees i've been paying for my school fees since i joined my high school from from one until now uh, that i've finished yeah and art art has done so much for me my two loving brothers they always support me they always believed in me yeah that's why i've Actually the three people it's me and my brothers my two little brothers who have been so supportive to me and I'm I'm really thankful for both of them the times when my life was so hard for me like I'm from I'm from South Sudan. Does you all know South Sudan? There are very many problems like people are always fighting. And and does you all know the economy in South Sudan? It's not really that good. Many people are not getting paid like my parents have haven't been paid for like the last 5 years. that has been hard on me and paying my school fees has been really hard so i had to i had to find a way out and art art really helped me painting yeah I 
finished my class 8 time I started painting until today and I've sold I've sold I think around five five paintings which really helped me to pay my school fees till now that I finished my high school successfully and I'm looking forward to going to the university. My name is Natasha painting has always been my thing. So basically what I'm trying to paint over here is a perfect family. A wife, a dad, and a kid. But this is something I hadn't seen as I grew up. So it has just been an imaginary thing which I wish to be real someday as I grow because as I've grown It has just been a dream for me to see a perfect family where you have your mom beside you and your dad always there. And most especially because I'm a female kid, it has always been lived a story where kids with their dads are inseparable. But my case has been different. So that's why I put it in paintings. Um, I just continue doing and living. Hoping that one day, probably if it doesn't happen to me as a kid, it's gonna happen to my kids. Me being a mom, probably. You see? So that's why I'm doing this painting. The dramatic part of everything was that the fact that we are four kids and we are all girls um, made our dad compare us to kids, yeah, to my kids. He'd always say, if you guys were. were Male kids, you'd probably be doing this and this and this, you know, and felt that male kids were more brighter than female kids. But in as much as the story was changing as time went by and us doing well in school, he wasn't still convinced that it's okay for him to be having like male kids. And the way he was so much into academics and everything, he wanted to choose courses for us. For instance, he'd be like, if I had a son, he'd be doing engineering right now. He didn't want to see the fact that even female kids can still be doing engineering. So that's why I've been doing art um, to show that in as much as we might be females or male kids, we're still the same and nothing is going to change. And I probably think that's why there's feminism right now trying to explain to people that even if you're having whether female kids or male kids, it's still okay and the family is still perfect. It doesn't mean if you're having male kids, then the family will be incomplete. Yeah, and if even if people are to do courses in school, uh, it doesn't mean that there are courses which are meant for females and there are those which are meant for males. Because for him, when I thought, when I told him that my thought was in art, it was like, You can do that as part-time, but not professionally, because art is not a professional course, you know? He felt like doing, being a doctor, or being a, a lawyer, or being a pilot was much better off than doing art. And I also want to prove to him that people are making a living through art, and art is very much therapeutical because of what we've been through and what we've been seeing, and at least you can expect, express that through art tell him that this is how it goes and I can still earn and I can still support you through this art which you feel isn't as big as being a doctor or a lawyer, whatever it is that someone can want to be in life. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, karibuni, karibuni sana, uweza at gallery. 
kami ni muone original artworks meet my artist muone kazi wanafanya my artist wageni ukitaka ku kukuza talanta yako kuja jionyeshe juuze kuja tuuze tutaka tu, pamoja tuuze picha u make drinks zako zikam true as in hakuna kenya za kuzuia kuja hapa as in kila kitu ni free market tunafanywa kenya mtaji tu kuja kufanya ni wewe kiti kuchukua canvas kuchora ndoto yako na kutimiza malengo yako ya karibu sana So guys that has been our tour around this art gallery you've seen there are a lot of arts a variety of them in big in different sizes big ones na zile ndogo ndogo I'm personally I feel inspired if you are living around Kibra Karen Lovington Kileleshwa just know that if you're looking for art Weza Art Gallery is the best place to be it's the best place to find the best the best art affordable prices and if you can't reach them they do deliveries uh, uh, you can just select the one you like on their online on their social media platforms they give them a dm you know they'll, they'll, there's always someone there to attend to you they'll just deliver it at your doorstep if you feel like you can't trust them and as you can see they are also diligent you can see there are a lot of paintings a lot of paintings a lot of them actually it means they are doing some good work and they are selling and a lot of people are coming here so if you haven't known this place leon mekwibia siri it was nice uh, this place is a good place they are encouraging the youth they are empowering a lot of people and a lot of people are earning from this place and i'm also praying that you who watched this video you'll find a reason to come visit this place someday yeah if you haven't subscribed please subscribe just take a few seconds it, it won't take your time click that subscription button subscribe so that the next time we are doing another interesting story like this one you'll be notified when we have it remember to share and comment follow us on our social media platforms instagram facebook and tiktok at semayote Remember to always comment, tell us what you think about our videos and give us your ideas. Till next time, bye-bye.